the tube, Miranda drives her train through a red light. If I cause the delay, well, it's better than killing people. And it's crunch time for trainee driver Joe. I feel like lamb to the slaughter. <laughs> At the beginning of last year, London Underground ran an ad campaign in Cosmopolitan magazine in a bid to attract more women drivers. 6,500 women applied, 116 got jobs. Joe Drummond is one of them. Um, I've got about two weeks left. I've got my road test, which is very similar to a sort of car test, on the 12th of August. It's like any test, you're really nervous, aren't you? And you can sort of like naff up on the day, but Hopefully, fingers crossed, I won't naff up on the day and then I can get rid of them annoying IOs that keep coming in the cab with me and drive the train on my own. For the last five months, Joe has been learning to drive a 160-tonne Northern Line train. If she passes her test, she'll be left in charge of a train of up to 1,000 passengers. What, 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 yeah, it's 53. 50 yeah, that's it. It is 50 Today, Joe's having one of her final lessons before her test, and she's being taken out by operator instructor Dan East. He's helping her brush up on any last-minute faults. On test day, Joe will have to drive a full eight-hour shift, plus breaks. But today, she's just doing the run from Golders Green to Kennington. Smooth braking is one of the more difficult techniques to master. Right then, my dear, we're coming into Leicester Square now. Don't forget, it's quite a bendy short platform, so get on the brakes reasonably early again, that's it. Right, start breaking it down a little bit, that's it. The bend will scrub your speed off anyway, so. The only tiniest area we really need to brush up on a bit is the actual location of certain speed limits on the line, which Joe's definitely sussing out now, but it's been a long time, and it takes a long time to learn them all. You tend to, you know, forget, and then they just jump out at you before you know you've got to be doing 15 or something. Speed limit? Like normal line speed limit. Or... No, speed limit for it. You're nearly doing it now. I get a bit of experience with the line. I know when to slow down and where certain signals are and what, you know, what signals to sort of watch out for and uh, a bit of kind of experience. The Northern Line has got six different speed limits and more than 1,200 signals. Joe's covered most areas of training needed for her test, but she's never made a PA announcement and she may have to on exam day. To do a bit of PA training here if you want to do a bit of minor doors when you're ready to go, yeah? Try and be polite. Right. <laughs> I usually get the train to do that. I usually have to broadcast. I've never once made a PA. Not Part of the job, girl, I'm afraid. I know, yeah, but it's on the, the thing. As long as I've used the broadcast when it's busy, what then I'm covering myself. Yeah, what if it's broken? Well, if it's broken, then fair enough, but is it broken? <laughs> All you have to do is pick it up and say, more the doors. There's so much to take in and learn, because people just think you see a red or a green light, and you're pushing a little red handle and opening doors, and that's all your job is, but it's far from it. Joe's had to learn a, a hell of a lot, even before she actually touched the controls of the train. Joe spent 10 weeks in the classroom and the train depot, familiarising herself with Northern Line stock and how to drive it, before she was allowed onto the line under supervision. Right then, Joe, Joe, we can up the kit and just tell him we're terminating at Kennington. Take all your belongings with you. The next train south of the platform. Just to remind you, this train does in fact terminate the next station, which is Kennington. Please make sure that you take all your belongings with you when you leave the train. Once again, this train, the train terminates here in Kennington. Thank you. Bravo. That's all right. What's the matter with that? Stop, 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 stop. I think, well, day by day, she's improving quite immensely, actually. She's doing very well. Joe's had a good lesson. But will she remember it all on test day? Take it up there. Oh, Dad, listen, I'll catch you. I'll probably see you around if you want. All right. Yeah? Be good. Will do. Will do. And, and for once, remember everything I taught you. She's 
It's not a lot, so that should be hard to remember. Oi. Easy, Tiger. Love you loads. Bye bye. Ta ta. Another Joe, Joe Brown, manages the train operators on the district line. It's one of the busiest lines on the network, carrying over 180 million passengers a year. Today, Joe suspects one of his female drivers has been involved in a signal incident. There's no service between here and Edgware Road due to a signal failure at High Street Kensington. Well, I've just heard that we've got um, signalling problems up at High Street Kensington. Um, I'm not 100% sure as to what the causes behind it are. Um, I mean, what I do know is it's going to cause holdouts to the customers. Um, at present, I've got a feeling it's a driver error, but I need to have that confirmed by speaking to the line controller. You get the circle line round, so there are delays on that as well. No, that's the bus. Because they were saying signal failure over the power at the station, which was a half truth. <laughs> Driver failure. I've just established that it was a signal pass at Danger Pass that read up at High Street Kensington. Um, the driver's waiting for me up in the canteen, so I need to set the wheels in motion and go through the process with our ASAP. Miranda Sadgrove passed her test two years ago, and she's been driving district line trains ever since. This is the second time she's passed a signal at Danger. The points when I was just looking, shut the doors, went. Where's you? Um, High Street West. Yeah. yeah. So you were out the way and you managed to cause all that grief, so it was a bit of a nightmare. Usually the points change and the signal goes green and you can pull out. The points changed. I was looking at the platform, mirrors and monitors. So I didn't I didn't really check the signal. Shut the doors, pulled out and passed the signal and it was showing a red desperate. It's part of the job. It literally is part of the job. I used to be a bus driver. If you hit cars, that's part of the job. It's another downfall of the job. Every job has a positive and a negative side. Positive in this job is the salary. Negative is now and again. You have problems. A signal passed at danger, or SPAD as it's known, occurs when a train accidentally passes a red signal. Unlike the main line, London Underground have automatic train protection, which means that a train will be automatically forced to stop if it passes a red signal. Each SPAD is taken seriously, and Joe has to investigate the reasons behind Miranda's incident. We'll just do a quick fact-finding, um, find out what she perceives as being the reasons behind her passing a signal at danger. And, um, you know, we need to devise an action plan for us so that hopefully it won't happen in the future. Sorry, Joe, I've been yeah. a bit of a trap. No, 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 it's just fine. No, I mean, just trying to establish. Um, I watched it, I watched it, see, stop the lights. Where is precisely. <laughs> um, okay, so. Sorry. So, what is it? It was the points right in the front point, of you? Yeah, the points right in front of me changed. I heard the looked. Right. And then I didn't really. I was just wanting to autopilot. Shut the doors, check the mirrors, and win. As you just said, it wasn't a case of you going, I'm just going to wind up against a red signal because I feel like it. It was a case of the points through, and you assumed that that also meant the signal had gone green. I was just in little planet Miranda. After 20 long weeks of hard slog, it's crunch time. Today, Joe will find out if she'll join the ranks of the 185 Northern Line train drivers based at Golders Green. At the moment, I'm feeling very nervous about today because it's my test. And I'm a bit all over the place. I'd probably lose my head if it wasn't screwed on today, to be quite honest. Yesterday, Joe sat her written test on railway regulations. She passed. Now she has to pass her practical. I feel like a lamb to the slaughter. <laughs> oh, watch out. Thank you. Quick, give me an head start. What train am I taking at? Oh, you've got a clue, mate. Watch it. Uh, you send your own. Yeah, you give us a piece of that paper. Yeah. Joe's examiner today is Jerome Doyle. There's a briefing, then basically she gets on the train, 
drives the train and is assessed on all aspects of it, taking the train to service, platform train interface issues, dealing with customers, handing over the train to another driver, stabling the train, basically everything a driver will do. Oh, I'm nervous, see you in line. I can't eat or drink, I feel really sick. No, I feel sick. First, Jerome has to establish that Jo feels fit and happy to take the test. She's had time off for ill health, so there have been gaps in her training. I'm going. <laughs> I'm wanted in the back. <laughs> Got me orders. Are you happy enough to actually do the road test? Yeah. You're okay? Yeah. You know, bearing in mind, you know, you missed... You just had the bare I'm all right with my driving. I'm just a bit nervous with that raising that. Okay. Run the back. Obviously, if I pass, it's a big boost because um, it means that um, I'm going to be earning loads of money <laughs> every month, and also because it's something I wanted to do, and I've worked so hard at it, and I've had quite a lot of setbacks, and that it'll be good to get through it. She's got to take a train out and drive it properly with hundreds upon hundreds of people on it. Uh, it's not something you just stroll in and take up lightly. You want to make sure everything's right. The test involves two four-hour blocks of driving, the first in daylight, the second from dusk to dark, to test her in various conditions. First of all, she'll be taking a train out of the depot. That's a good start, weren't it, eh? <laughs> Dropping me key like. <laughs> we don't ask any questions while she's actually driving. Um, but she's being assessed on all aspects of her driving. So, more complicated, it's more in depth. She's got to cover the majority of the line. There's a lot of pressure on them. Because ultimately, if they don't pass this, they don't drive a train in service on their own tomorrow. And they don't have a license. If Jo doesn't pass today, she'll be sent back out with instructors until she's ready to have another go. But before she finds out, she's got a lot of driving to do. 36 miles on the Northern Line. London Underground have been recruiting more female drivers, and Jo Drummond has just completed her driving test on a Northern Line train. Now she's got to wait to find out whether she's passed. She could be failed for a number of different reasons. Too much hesitation, taking too long to do platform duties. Or she could be failed for a signal passed at danger. When did they tell you that you'd passed? I can't remember. It, it wasn't too much, too long after the, the finish. Was it when you went in for feedback and that? Was it as soon as um, you got off the train? I think it was when we got back to the office, but mm. it didn't take too long. It just made me feel better, wouldn't you? <laughs> <laughs> How'd it go? All right, yeah, not bad. I don't know, though. I'm not going to say anything. <laughs> in case I curse myself. I wait until he says you passed or you didn't pass. Satisfies the requirements. Oh, yes, really? Oh, God. Okay. You <laughs> keep me waiting so long. Well, there's things we need to talk yeah. about. Yeah. Okay? okay. You're not, you know, super driver yet. Yeah. And you're a little bit nervy. Mm. Only to be expected. Okay. But at what I saw was good. Okay. So outside with a bit of time under your belt, you'll be fine. Mm hmm. Is she done? Okay. Welcome to the Elders Green. Yep. You're a driver now. Yeah. Just spent five it. months getting your job. Look after it. <laughs> yeah? You know all the pitfalls, you know what can go wrong. Yeah. You made it? Yeah. Just a bite. Bite the skin of yeah. my teeth. Are you here? Are you I, am here. I am here. I am here. When I found out you was here, I just knew I had to come here. You have your pass. Hello? 
I passed. <laughs> He's singing. My brother's singing to me on the phone. <laughs> All right, bye. Joe's qualified, but she's still got one major hurdle left. Her first day out on her own with a train full of passengers. Train operators with less than 12 months on the job are twice as likely to be involved in a SPAD than those with more experience. Joe Brown wants to make sure that Miranda doesn't have another SPAD. Um, yeah, all drivers that have had a signal pass at danger must watch this video and basically sign to say that they've seen it. Um, a lot of the operators have now seen it half a dozen times at least. Pretty much what I did. Unfortunately. Well, I've got to take you up to High Street Kensington just to make sure you uh, understand totally all the factors that led up to your signal pass at danger. Although there was little immediate danger from Miranda's SPAD, it did cause delays on the district line and a train jam at High Street Kensington. Miranda heard the points throw. Check the mirror behind me, obviously, to make sure it was safe to shut the train doors and then just left the platform. Um, the signal was still red, the train stopped, the little white lever down there was still raised. As uh, Miranda's train passed over it, the little lever on the front of the train called the trip cock hit the little lever called the train stop, and the train stopped. It makes all the air escape from the brakes and brings on the emergency brakes. So basically, if a train ever I does pass a I stop level with the train there in platform three, so it doesn't yeah. get very far. I mean, if a, if a train does pass a signal at danger, the emergency brake will apply straight away. Um, and that's essentially what happened. She made it a very short distance out, out of the platform because obviously she hadn't caught up much speed by the time she got tripped. If you pass a signal in a complicated area like this but with a lot it of points, all the points, it locks it up everything so nothing can move at all. So the effects on, on the service was we had a district in platform one that couldn't move, probably a circle out near Gloucester Road that couldn't move, and nothing could move until your train was set back into the platform by, by the supervisor. So obviously, it's not just held up your train by 10 minutes, but probably two or three trains in total. Yeah, Everyone yeah. makes mistakes, we're not robots. And if, if I caused a delay, well, it's better than killing people. Mm. Well, I'll be so advised if you hear those points throw, it doesn't necessarily mean that signal's cleared. Fair enough. Yeah. Not only have the points thrown, the train stops, drops, and the signal's gone green. You won't do that again, will you, Miranda? Two days ago, Joe Drummond passed her driving test. Today, she'll be allowed to drive a train on her own. She's had her road, road test the other day, so she'll now be coming into what we call her sweat day. It's a historic term that we've used. Basically, it's your first day out driving on your own, and there's a tendency to sweat. Although I believe ladies perspire, so maybe it should be a perspiration day. Right, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to sort you out a train. A train? A train. <laughs> we'll have a look, see what we can find. There's a nice little train out here waiting for you. Nervous. Toilet requirement nervous. <laughs> Joe's hoping she won't be given a long run, like Morden via the bank, with its 17 miles of tunnels. I don't know what they're going to give me though. Oh, what are they going to give me? 
Hi. I hope it's nothing long. Sight out of mine. Joe, you know qualified, I understand. Yeah. Good. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to hell. Oh, yeah. Do you, you mind saying that? Yeah. Eight way about non to eighteen forty nine. That'd be it. So. Okay. Ten minutes to go. The skies have opened again. Just to make things tougher. It started to rain. Nice rain, nice slip with rails. Nice total misjudgment of braking capacity. Ice skating. Stop! Hello, Brent. Don't misjudge the braking. Get nervous. Yeah, she's twitching and everything. Hey, shut up! Yeah, I'm getting. I've just been informed that Ken's gonna be riding in the carriage behind me. I'm really so sweaty. Don't be in the seat. Behind. Next one in. Are you getting nervous <laughs> pacing up and down as well now? Yeah. All right. It is indeed. We can get rid of the L, L plates off the front. To add to the pressure, Joe's train manager, Ken Gibbard, is hitching a ride home on her train. Okay, from away, away from the station. She obviously checked the signal. They're giving you a nice smooth ride. You can complete the crossword or whatever it is you're writing. If they're not, your pen's all over the place. It's, a, it's an old acid test. Move stop. The finer style, if you like, will come with experience. It's nothing wrong with that at the moment, though. No. Nothing wrong at all. If Joe drives like that again for the rest of her career as a train operator, I don't think we'll have too many problems. Next time, London Underground is gripped by a heat wave. Option, get the ambulance, please. And at Victoria, Simon is at the end of his tether. I think he wants to be famous for the area. Any kind of service, please.